keep, keep, keep it pyro. One, two, one, two. And we're back. Our special guest is in the building. Man like Taz, what's good, brother? Yes, what well, going father? Hallelujah. Up, up, London, Brixton, <laughs> London, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Vibes. Don't know. Pick up everybody in the station, man. We're here, man. Don't know, brother. Bless. 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 Energy. Good to have you here, man. Yeah, man. You're a guy that's been in the industry for a long time. Um, and been active. I thought this would be a good, good thing for you to come and talk to us about. So we've been asking. Um, we just go straight into it with the show here. We've just been asking about the Brits. And first and foremost, should the should the Brits have a category for rappers? Nah, man. I think um, it should just all be mixed in, man. I think our music is worth. It's so much because there's so much categories in rapping in Britain, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. That is, you can't miss out the jungle people. Yeah, you can't oh, miss yeah, out the grime yeah. people. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I think we should. It should just all be respected, man. A big tune is a big tune, and talent is talent. Yeah. Yeah. No, I hear that. I hear no, that. No one's brought up the jungle people. No, I've seen some, some some people have online still. Some people have online, and I kind of made an argument with what's pop, who's popping in the charts now. That's why my thing was like these grand man, certain man that are charting, charting right now. Um, that was the next question. I guess you're saying obviously we shouldn't do that, but that, that, that's why my next question always was: so what? What would it even be called exactly for that same reason? What would we even manage to call a category with all those separate people? Separate, what, what, separate. What, what name would put all those categories in one really I don't think there should be I think it should mix with everything because I think a record is a good record yeah, yeah. like this, you see what I'm saying like obviously some MCs know how to spit like in the UK sometimes it gets a bit uh, cross wired because yeah. obviously I mix with a lot of songwriters in it as yeah. well because yeah, I do yeah. songwriting camps yeah. so they're there to make a good record in it so there's yeah. a difference between spitting yeah. and making a good record so i yeah. think it should all be one because a good record is a good record and i could give yeah. you examples of good records you know what i'm saying yeah 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 pass out good record good record yeah, with yeah, an yeah. mc yeah. spitting it yeah coming, yeah you know what and what yeah, genre yeah. Would, you, would you put it into a genre pass out well tiny's an international rapper in it so i would just yeah. nah Not since it, then though Oh, was he grime before? Is that was, what you're saying? I don't know. Like, I wouldn't call it a grime record. Though. I didn't at the time. I was like, I, I, I would call is. it a rap record more than a grime record, and it became whatever, whatever it was. Yeah, it's a hard one with grime, you know. I mean, all right, check it with grime. I was there at the beginning when Wiley started this. Yeah, like yeah, beginning. Yeah. I was Nick Nick Denton Cage in the studio, Bermondsey. Yeah, and I was there, and like it just changed over the years, and it it it's gotten drilly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. what certain people... It's hard, man. It's hard in the UK. Just yeah. a good tune, man. Give yeah, me a yeah, good yeah, tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. That's yeah, an interesting yeah. point. We were it's thinking... new drill use as well. With, uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Roots just trapping out. That's it. We, we were thinking this with yourself, even. Yeah, you've got a lot of connections to grime, grime artists. Uh, but you don't really, you haven't really come out making with grime records yourself. Duh. We, I think... But uh, you've done like a few different... different. different well, you came out more, more as a... What would you say? A hip-hop artist? Yeah, but the first record I ever done was Eskimo. Yeah? With yeah. Wiley. Ah, let me go on and I run at them out. That's that now. Okay. Yeah, no, like. That's me. Oh, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. As a dancehall <laughs> artist. So yeah, I was a yeah, weird yeah. artist because yeah. I'm so multi-talented. I'm a better... I was more... I was meant to come in the game as... People don't know this, as a writer and a co-producer. Yeah. More than that. I, I did... The artist thing was by mistake. Like, yeah. We get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that's what happened. I'm more of a like... That's what I'm saying. So I like everything yeah. and just growing up everything you throw in there. But as you said, the Brits, I think everything <laughs> should be thrown in one uh, uh, yeah. and it should be just a big tune. Do you think we're going to see a Stormzy or an artist of the culture like, on that level win the best male though or best female if we leave it like that? 100% it's yeah. changed yeah. Love, the game is ch from my, my time where urban artists never even used to alright yeah. they're alright mate it's yeah, them yeah. over there Yeah. to this time it's changed but you can't control it no more because the internet has yeah. just taken over things it's the internet's fault yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah. the higher powers must be saying I hate the internet yeah, yeah. there's no control no more yeah, like yeah, everybody mad. the talent is just going to come at the top of the thing now and the people are deciding it's coming back in the hands of the people right now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so they, they can't say oh who's got very very because before it was more politics yeah of who's course. getting the most spins uh, you know the game yeah. who's getting the most spins of radio one but now so radio's not even as important as important as it was not, not how i see it but a big record is a big record though yeah it goes international and that's where 
I look at because I've been touring in Finland and Sweden and I've just been looking at these kind of places like obviously they know us online yeah but when I look at these places they don't really know UK artists yeah. so UK artists have a lot much more work to do yeah, worldwide yeah. Into that, America mm. knows us but they don't know us they know like yeah it's there but yeah, you don't yeah. hear when you're driving past in a car just a natural song playing no 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 you know no, what I'm no, saying no. all my cousins yeah, and that, yeah, they, don't, yeah, they go what's that yeah, uh, you might every now and then. When I was in in America, though, I was hearing a still everywhere. I can't lie, that's the of course, course a couple, she's, couple. She's American yeah. now. Yeah. 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 She's American. Shout out to Estelle. Shout out to yeah. I was there with her in the beginning when she just went yeah, yeah, there. of course, man. She was, yeah. she was, yeah, she's American now. Like, is, it's kinda, is that something you were trying to do, or I was trying to break America yeah. early. I was yeah. uh, when she went over there. I think I went over there the first times, kind of with her, and I was trying to break it. Obviously, at that time, I never had my deal. Yeah. So it was more harder, but because I'm a ghetto you, I was living yeah. over there, man. I was living in yeah. Jamaica, Queens. And was that was that <laughs> after, yeah. after the deal that you had? Yeah, after the deal that I had, man, yeah. I needed a break from Britain. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I was <laughs> depressed a little bit, and then my cousin from America called me, like, because I'm born in Jamaica, so I have yeah. a Jamaican family, and he said, "Yo, you need to make it to." T- to America, man, get out yeah, of England. Yeah, yeah. That's a hater place. Yeah, that's what they know. It's it's real, it's real talk. There's too much haters. They say like, "Yo, you need to get out of Britain, man." And I like, I was depressed. I was just, "Why? This is mad." Whereas, and people lose deals all the time. It's nothing. Yeah. So America kind of built me up. Yeah, yeah, big man. So when I went over there, I just vibed. Um, you know, I got poor because yeah. obviously I didn't have a deal like Estelle yeah. <laughs> so I was in the streets just talking to the normal guys and just eating yeah. I was taking the dollar van from Merritt Boulevard to Jamaica Queens I was just living it yeah. real out there buying Timberlands and just yeah, you know yeah. Jamaican vibe innit you know how we go anywhere yeah. so it was good there but it wasn't it couldn't at that time but now yeah. definitely they're open for UK artists because they're internet so is that after your deal with Def Jam yeah that's that my after-, after my deal man when I needed so just were they to- not trying to push for that then Def, Def Jam UK Def Jam UK, nah, 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 they did, because the territories, isn't it? As I said, UK artists, like although some people say, oh, we are breaking, they're big but niche. Like in other countries, I don't know, not all everybody, but you know what I'm saying? It's niche. Yeah. Like, okay, I listen to drum and bass. Yeah, I respect the drum and bass artists. Yeah. Or if you, I listen to a bit of grime in Sweden or Finland, so yeah. I'm gonna bring over a grime act. But they don't know us, like. Do you, do, uh, I'm in Finland a lot, and 90 percent of the population they live listen to American rap still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they want Jamaican dancehall yeah. and yeah. then Afro beats. So yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man. So tell us about how you got with Def Jam in the first place. Like, tell us that story. Okay, so I'm a writer and a producer and just a vibes guy in the studio. I think. Well, all right. Fast forward all the Jamaican stuff, moving from Jamaica to here. Yeah. Learned the culture more. But Jamaica gave me the vibe. So Jamaica always encouraged talent. Yeah. yeah. Overseas, yeah, they yeah. say, yo, hear the mic. Where are you? Yeah, On yeah, school yeah. fets, I was always DJ and Beanie Man was at our school. It was mad. Like, yeah, yeah, it would yeah, come yeah. to our school. I was born in St. Thomas, Sick. Jamaica. So there was always vibe. And a lot of artists was around me. One of them joined the Whalers. One of them, all my, the people in my class gone to do big things so they all knew Sick. so came here always rapping in school Archbishop Tennyson's and Lillian Bailey's Kellen you know what I'm saying I'm um, yeah. London always rapping in school spitting and vibing and hearing all the different things you know family with um Saxon yeah, yeah. Um, Dennis Rowe and all those kind oh, okay. of people and then my stepdad who plays for Gregory Isaac so my stepdad had a studio Sick. And every day, every artist, Beanie Man, Merciless, all the artists used to come in there and say, yo, that youth's bad. I was yeah. just sitting down and every time I'm DJing, innit? Yeah, I'm yeah, showing them, yeah. yo, I'm bad as well, you know? And they're going, yo, <laughs> where in the vice that youth there? My, my, yeah. my stepdad would always say, he hasn't got a story yet. Yeah. Watch when he gets his story. Okay. And that's okay. when the fire in your belly, innit? Because yeah, you've got yeah, something yeah, to yeah. chat about. All you're going to... No, back real. them days, you couldn't touch the mic. Mm. You know, yeah. you couldn't just say, not like, like now, and you go, I'm not in the trap. <laughs> you can you say had anything. to have something to say. You yeah. had to have something. Them men are not making you touch the mic. So I kind of got the vibe from them, learned a lot, Napoleon, you know what I'm saying? And then moved on from there, from Bermondsey, and went to the army, 19. Okay. Yeah. So my mom said, if you come out of the army, I'm going to kick you out of my house, isn't it? Jamaica, yeah, I was, yeah, I was there for a little time. You get me, and then she kicked. She said, "Oh, you can't come back." So I ended up living at the studios. That's um, where Nick Denton, 
Because you left because you left the army. Yeah, I left the army. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I threatened somebody in there. I was extorting money yeah. out of people there. Oh, I little, you know, you're a kid. We was doing like loan shark in the army. Man was yeah, extorting yeah, yeah. the soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you Go know ahead. what it is? They would spend all their money on bear, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when they spend all their money on the bear and the naffy, we would then say, okay, then you come to me and I'll... No, like, come on, you're from the end. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah, you yeah, find yeah. something to make him money. So they, <laughs> they kicked me out. Bro, so you, you, so you started getting a story, basically. <laughs> yeah. I was building the story. They, yeah. they kicked me out of there. So I didn't last long there. So I came back. There was nothing really to do. And obviously, I love music. I was listening to Mob Deep while I was in there. And if you give somebody guns and they're listening to Mob Deep, like they would go, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. I was on Nas and all that together. Yeah, yeah. I said, right, when I got in the field with my SAA, because you had the rifle SAA yeah, you know, magazine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. I was thinking, out, yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> Dream life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, <laughs> so you're thinking all them things there. So obviously, that finished and I came back home. Yeah. And then I'm, I, I, my mom, I never had nowhere to live, so I lived in the studios. Yeah. But I would go to my auntie in East London, Plasto, to bathe. So say you're yeah. like, um, uh, the studio was in uh, Bermondsey. Okay. You, I think it was a big unit next to the college. See, I'm getting old, my memory, man. Yeah, yeah. Next to the college, anyway, massive unit. Dizzy was in there yeah. and Nick. So the first time Wiley brought me there to Eskimo, okay. like to voice on that Eskimo beat when they chilled okay. with them, man, a long time, years ago, yeah, when yeah. people were young, academics tracksuit mode. Yeah, yeah, done <laughs> 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 When people were young, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was there, you know, I'm saying, um, what is it? What's his name from the one extra? Uh, Target. Target. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Target. Dominique from Pay As You Go. Maxwell. And just, you know, it was a good vibe and flow done. And, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Good yeah. vibe. And so it was Wiley who brought you there, though. So it was Wiley who put you on the first record. Well, the first time it was a friend. They done a dub plate with Wiley. And mm. then Wiley brought, Wiley brought him. And then he brought me there. Okay. And then from then, I just introduced myself yeah, to Nick. Yeah. Nick was the manager, innit? Oh, okay, cool. And um, I, was, I was on my face. Yeah. <laughs> It was mad for me, but I just said to myself, you know what? I'm a bully myself in this game, and some I'm getting some money. Yeah. Cause I, uh, but but before that, a little bit of my story is that I was with Craig David. Okay. So okay. I done my first first song when I was 19. Yeah. And I went to Dries a Bone Studio, and that guy, you know that guy, Fraser T. Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he produced yeah, yeah. the um, Stormzy album. Now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there and I done a beatbox, and I got paid. Okay. That was my first check. I got 500 quid. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, like, yeah. Because my production is always beatbox starting. Okay. So I got 500 quid. And so that said to me, rah. And the day I went to chill with them when I was 19, they were all eating linguine and Italian. Yeah. So we done a little work and then they just went to some expensive restaurant. And I said, there's money in this music <laughs> stuff, man. <laughs> but I got to be with the money people because I've always seen people like kind of struggle. Yeah. You know, as yeah, we yeah, community yeah, where we're yeah, from, yeah, we've yeah. seen urban artists struggle. And yeah, for I said, real. yeah, there's money, man. I just got to find like, what is it I need to do? And I said, yeah, I need to put beats together to give to people, but not just beats. I'm not just a producer. I like I want to like produce not just a beat maker. I want to production it, hear the vibes, and put yeah. the chorus on it. Create records, yeah, create records. So that's what I was doing from early. Then I found this guy called Vanguard while I was sleeping in um, the studio because what I would do is sleep in the studio. Come yeah. on, kick me out. Nowhere to live. Yeah, yeah. Sleep in the studio. And while I was sleeping in the studio, the boss of the studio would go, "What are you doing in there?" Because yeah. I'd be in the kitchen every time. I say, <laughs> "No, I'm working with one of them." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Michael Millions a part of my story as well so you know the okay, DJ yeah, Michael yeah, yeah, Millen, he done a lot for my album and stuff like okay, that but so. anyway so I was I was there at the complex working you know what I'm saying there all the time and I met a guy called Vanguard mm. and when I met Vanguard obviously I, this time I'm in tune with Dizzy Rascal and, and Nick which is his manager yeah. and we're kicking it from long time when I went to uh, Vanguard I said to uh, Nick uh, uh, Nick said well I'm billing this kid I'm making an album for this guy which is Dizzy yeah that time Wiley is gone from them time there. Yeah. And then um, I said, you know what? 
I'm gonna make a tune for this kid. I just had this vision, just a rascal in my head. Yeah. And I just said, you know what? If we do that and make the beatbox, because I always used to beatbox my rhythm. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, and I said, bruv, and I'm gonna say, just a rascal. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna ask you, is that you on the chorus, on yeah, the record? Yeah, yeah. Because right. 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 I, right. right. I was looking at that, I always knew you produced that record or co produced it, but. I was looking on the Wikipedia and on the Wikipedia page it says featuring Taz. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, okay, he's on the record. So, so yeah, we we made that and and then, and then um when we gave it to Nick, which is Dizzy Rascal's manager, he got it and he said, yeah, immediately I'm having this. I don't think Dizzy got the record at first. Yeah, but his ma- obviously managers they go, listen, mate, that's the one. Yeah. We got it, and then we. Uh, my guy was gonna. He had no money. The producer I was working with, because when I told him about doing it, he said, "I don't want to." Vanguard's a, a Norwegian guy, so he's very angry. Okay. He was angry. In his <laughs> I didn't even know Norwegians was angry. He was angry, bro. He was. He was. You know, like when somebody. Ah, oh, them years was mad. You know, like when somebody's under their computer every day, and you just go to them, and they ain't got the energy you got. Yeah. They just got oh, yeah. fucking you again. And I swear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were like, you again. Oh, what do you want, mate? And I said, listen, I can make this record with you, bro. We're going to yeah, get yeah, money yeah. in it. I just always had that vision in my head that money, I'm going to get it. So yeah. he done it. And he said, oh, I don't believe he's going nowhere, but go on, let's do it. So we done it, gave it to Nick. Nick came back with the papers, said, I'm signing this off. Yeah. And then when we signed it off, he just came straight like that. And then um, give it, five weeks I'm here Simtex pulled my phone yeah, yeah. from Def Jam UK told me do I want to meet um, 50 Cent yeah do I want to come to some tours with him so I started to go tour with him because I was back at this stage and big yeah. up Simtex yeah, yeah, yeah me dope. you know what I'm saying I hold his bags or what, whatever for, when he was doing the 50 Cent no nah, when it, you know like on some of the shows okay. Sem- like, when Simtex was um, on tour with 50 Cent on to- yeah, yeah. Not, not, not on like tour with 50 well, Cent just yeah, doing yeah, shows doing anyway shows general. Yeah, 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 yeah. just doing shows yeah, yeah. anyway he hooked me up he was always just like yo here's a 90 here's a thing yeah, I was yeah. like right okay I'm broke at this time you know how it was in London yeah, 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 days, yeah. Yeah. well see so he used to run the street team at the time probably as well yeah yeah I remember a lot of people coming through that street team um, with some text so, sometimes you know um, then he said you know what I want this kid to get some money so he gave me my first Ashanti remix apart from so Just the Rascal's been signed yeah. got some money in our pockets now yeah. and then he gave me the first Ashanti remix yeah. knocked that out then he went do you want another one mm. and I said yeah cause, and they paid me immediately you know like back in the record yeah. companies sometimes they won't pay you yeah, yeah, like yeah. take all invoice yeah, if yeah, you yeah. do invoice there's another remix yeah, for Ashanti yeah I don't know which two, is the first one you did uh um well, the f- her first record. Rock with you. Wanna rock with oh, no, you? No, no, no. I did a Shanty remix. And the I first done Ooh Baby. Their first, their first rec- her first record. Wanna rock remember. with you? Yeah, I done, yeah, yeah, I done yeah, that yeah. remix. Six, anyway, yeah, yeah. they gave me that. Got paid about three grand for that. Gave me another one. Got nice. paid immediately. So my pockets... And then I was just getting confident. It was an accident, you know, bro. Yeah. I got confident and I started saying, I can make an album, man. Yeah. So I just started to speak. So was you rapping on those remixes or you produced them? I rap, was rapping. I'm, so I'm a co-producer. So yeah. I work with an engineer and I get the sound out. It still don't take nothing from me as a producer. Yeah, of course. I just get the sound out. I work with certain special engineers. Yeah. In fact, 90% of producers in America, you see, they Yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, people yeah. say, oh, producer. No, nah, I'm not. I don't play everything and I don't use all the machine. But I once I get my head around it yeah. and get a guy with an engineer who's yeah, around yeah. me will have a banger Sick. so especially <sighs> when I beatbox everything I beatbox everything before yeah, I yeah, think yeah, it because yeah. sometimes it's hard to explain and yeah, Vanguard yeah. was my guy so anyway <laughs> yeah. Ashanti Ashanti came through that came through and then one day Dizzy's manager um, come down to my block estate Kenneton Park estate and just said to me listen somebody cares about your life yeah. me is it is it you want a five album deal yeah. Def Jam, I said, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, this time I've already got a record in my bed. I'm already getting like yeah. little dough from the little production. Would you say that was love from Semtex, kind of? He showed love, man. Yeah. He yeah. showed love. Yeah. He showed yeah. love. Yeah. Putting a word in at the label, like, check this guy out. He showed, I think it was the Dizzy. Once yeah. I done the Dizzy, that was it. Yeah, like, the record, because that record popped. And they yeah. used, it, which is not a bad thing, they used kind of Dizzy's momentum to say, this is gonna be the guy, or yeah, yeah. whatever yeah, we've yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Or we're gonna saying? just the doors are open for. We need more rap artists to come through. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. and you know, so the advance came, lawyers and this type of style, and you know what? I had the talent, but I kind of, I kind of slapped myself because I just thought, is this what I've worked all my life for? This is crap. 
Yeah. <laughs> what, what, how they were making it or promoting it or what? What? Part just of the it music was? business, man. It's full of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it's full of people who are just like, yeah. These are insecure guys, insecure people, man. I'm, yeah. I'm being serious. I, I've met all my stars. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. I, will, I just wanted to be like Michael growing up. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, Beanie, yeah. or somebody. Shabba. I used to see the videos and think it was another world. Yeah. And then I met. It, I, I wasn't scared of the hard work. Yeah. But I just started to meet people and started to see this is crap, man. Do you think do you think the industry was ready at that time for artists like yourself or rappers in general? I don't, I don't think for myself. I'm I'm so multi-talented that I couldn't stick into one genre. Okay. And that's what UK likes to do. They say yeah. you do this ah. genre. So did they did they create like did they push you to be like a hip hop artist? Or a certain sound you were going Not for? Not really. I I felt that Michael Million guided the album and you obviously know Michael Million yeah, is yeah, a street a yeah. He don't even get his props what he's supposed to get. Mm. He's a street a and He guided my album, innit? Sick. He guided, he got paid, he guided my album and we went at it, innit? And um, it was things that we were going through in the time. If you lived in South London at that time, it was things that we were going through, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We told tales of what real yeah, life... Yeah, that's, that's another thing as well. I can only tell what is the truth and sometimes... I see certain yeah. things in the music. They want you to say certain things that are not your life. Yeah. And I have to tell the truth. If I'm Brock, I'm going to tell you that I'm Brock. Yeah, if I'm true. happy and there's a mill in the bank or a hundred yeah, yeah, grand, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you. I'm yeah, one of those yeah, artists. Yeah, I can't yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember it at that time, man. And when I posted up the flyer for that we were doing this show, like quite a lot of people got on my Facebook and was like bigging up that album and like what it meant to them at that time. So I did do what it done like at that time, man. And um, we was talking about when I first saw on your Instagram that Skinny Man's um, album, Kalashnikov's first album and what was it? Shasti. All came out that year. Well, how do you feel your album sits like with the legacy of these projects? I feel like obviously Skinny Man's, he's such a backpack respected kind of all around you know like f hype he's got an energy that yeah, yeah, can't definitely. be touched yeah yeah kalashnikov yeah, sharp yeah, yeah. spitter yeah yeah when him spit it's like a, a shot liquor yeah, 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 yeah. i feel like shysty you know grime like you know yeah, that's the it, only grime kind of yeah, proper yeah, grime yeah. lane of that of those albums and then in the middle yeah it's just my real life it, it had a little bit more party tracks it yeah had, for sure it, yeah, it yeah. had it had two sides to me, innit? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I said. I have two yeah, sides yeah, yeah, to me. Yeah. I have a commercial side yeah. and I also have... And that was hard for Def Jam to thing it, to thing as well because I think UK is... I understand UK radio right now and I understand... I, as you grow up, you start understanding things. I understand why certain people go with Excel. Yeah. I understand why the, the majors don't really understand us in the UK. And yeah. They don't know what to do sometimes. I understand their marketing budgets. Yeah, yeah. Because when you're with them, it's just time to shoot. They yeah. don't want to. They're giving man mixtapes now, and what, yeah. labels are doing mad things like let's have a but test they, record. Yeah, because they've lost, they've <laughs> lost, they've lost the industry in a, in a lot of ways. I feel. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's not theirs no more. Test records, like record well, we, labels have shut down, isn't it? The amount of like we looked at the major. What is it? The major, the top three record. There was only three left. There used to be, way, there used to be more, and they're all merging up. Like, and Apple and Spotify really, they're signing artists. SoundCloud, Woo. So, yeah, SoundCloud gonna sign artists. So it's like. The labels are kind of on the way out, possibly. It's a non-politics time right now. As I yeah. said again, <laughs> all artists that want to do their thing, it's you now more you can't say nobody's blocking you or keeping you back. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you know, in the past, complain. they were. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. yeah. They were, though. So would you? I was I was looking at it. Was Shasti on a label as well? Was she on Polydor. Polydor. Shasti was on so Polydor. Both, when I was looking at them for albums, two of them came out on major labels. Yeah. Two two of them came out independently. And they all did. They all did pretty well for the time for rap, for rap artists. Yeah, but I wouldn't even say the major label ones done majorly more than no, done Skinny Man's not. album or or. So do you think you needed that that label at that time? I I did need them for what I do. You I don't know about yeah. Shiesty, but I yeah. needed them because I thought. I wanted to go commercial. I, that yeah, was yeah, my yeah, whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, you see, I don't care about like I, I do. I shouldn't say that. I love music and I, yeah. I care, but I just wanted to make sure that I do this what I'm doing in it because I've loved all genres of music. Yeah. So I didn't want to put myself back and say, "Yo, he's just a rapper. He's just a thing." Because that's what they're thinking. I spit better sixteens than them. I'm not interested yeah. if you spit better sixteens than me. I'm trying to make a song. 
that's yeah. my whole thing of the song format so mm. it's basically that i just wanted to push further they offered me a second album i, I told you how it ended i don't yeah, have yeah. no lights <laughs> let's hear it <laughs> it ended with me just not um my engineer who created all my stuff in the beginning he went sick yeah. he went you know and um i couldn't record no more i just didn't have the vibe I couldn't record no more. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just sat down from the industry. I just sat down and just yeah. said, yo, I need to just leave this game. And then um, they sent me a letter. They give you a six months trial, innit? Okay. To see if you can record. And I just, I just didn't care. And then I remember getting the end. My manager said, yo, the thing has come for you. When they did yeah. tell me, and I just remember walking down this road, right chapel. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where the offices was. Okay, okay. And I remember okay. ripping it up and going, fuck it. So I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I thought, oh, I'll get another deal easy. <laughs> 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 you know what, what, what was the marketing out of that album? Do you think they did a good job? It wasn't ready for that. The UK yeah. wasn't ready. Their marketing, yeah. Yeah. their whole thing wasn't ready. They like they ahead of his time, man. I even feel when Kano Kano's album came a few years later, I did alright, but I don't feel the industry was even ready then. Definitely if some of them not. Kano records dropped now, nah, that'd be number one. But yeah, it wasn't. It. You know what I'm saying like it and wasn't. And needed people like us from where we're from. Yeah. All of you in here to work the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Some yeah, of these yeah, people yeah. are from Oxford, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cambridge. Not that. That's they not. Have, but they have no clue what's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They in don't the care. They don't care. Oh, the marketing women. And then, yeah, let's do this. Oh, I got just yeah. this splendid idea. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, how they yeah, talk. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. talk. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but that's why America probably has a better chance because they've it's, created their own, yeah, their yeah. own circles. It's so. kind of street people or people that are trendy in the offices. Yeah. But it's changed now, man. Things are. Yeah. As another thing I was thinking about that time, was, was there really a focus on digital sales at that time? Nah, it was all hard. It was all hard, hard copy. Yeah. yeah, yeah More yeah, hard yeah. copy, man. So yeah, I think that happened. Real money in the bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> checks. A, now you're six years out, you know. You know, I didn't start to collect mine until six years. I was a bit late on certain things because I lost my management and at, at that time as well, innit? Because obviously, yeah. when you're not making money, yeah, I don't want to manage you no more. That's yeah, just yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. be real. Yeah. Let's be real to the. Uh, but I love the music game. I actually love the rawness of it. Yeah. People don't answer their phones when they think you're not cool. As soon as you have to call, hello, Taz. Let's yeah, get yeah, Taz. Yeah, 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 oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah, love it. Man. I People love are it. fickle. Yeah, you got to just love it. You, <laughs> you, understand you know it. you deserve your place. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, feel yeah, offended yeah, yeah, by yeah. it. It's fun. I, I, so. guess, I guess fast forward to now. Um, do you think you'd, you'd want a major record deal now? I would want it, but I would want it right. I think my plan now because I've been on a lot of writing camps and been with a lot of writers and seen how this world works. And yeah. I'm like, I really love that world. And, you know, um, my brother, my best brethren, he inspired me as well. I mean, we went from just doing like a lot of, um, a lot of stuff together, like, um, you know, writing and building bands to him writing on Beyonce's record. Okay, sick. And he done the Naughty Boy, Arrow Benjamin. He's yeah, like, he yeah. done the Naughty Boy and then he ripped Beyonce's record, the second, you know, okay. on the album. So yeah, seeing yeah, on those, the Naughty Boy album? No, nah, on oh. the Beyonce's record. Okay, sick. Um, okay. A freedom. Okay, sick, He ripped sick. freedom. So wow. ha hanging with that and seeing our struggle, like within this new era struggle. Yeah. So we went through the bat and ball, the new era struggle, seeing that and seeing the writing game. Yeah. The way he brought me into it, and because I'm an Ivan Novello award winner in it, so a producer and writer. So, yeah, um, yeah. seeing that, I just think a hundred records written for Katy Perry, all of that type of stuff, yeah. And I'm good, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. could have rapid for fun, for fun, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've just seen a whole nother life, and I should have opened my eyes to it younger because yeah. I'd have just done a whole lot of Red Hoods yeah, and yeah, now yeah. I'd have just owned 20, 30 properties and chilled out. Oh, old man's got Ivan Novellos. That's why man don't want no grime category. <laughs> <in the bridge>. <laughs> <laughs> but like, <laughs> man's getting no the middle ones. <laughs> I got the Novellos, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah. It's, that's, so it's, that's, is that your focus is more of writing? I want 100 records this year. Yeah. I want 100. I mean, last year, they booked me in Norway and they made me do a writing camp with 50 writers yeah. and 50 producers. And that changed my life. Yeah. I was just going in rooms and just adding to that, adding to that, adding to that. Yeah, man, wow. who's that for? Boom, boom, and let me put something and the Sean Paul vibes and put in, for, you know what I'm saying? So putting Sick. things on that. So I like just creating. And if 
I'm thinking I'm doing an album, but I'm just creating, man. I just have some like that up there. Up it was there. a fun with the singles. It was my guy in Jamaica, a producer, like my brothers over there and all that. Yeah. And he just said, yo, you know, say you're bad pun the dancer. Don't Take know. a dancer beat and rhythm. Yeah, yeah. And I just went, all right, cool. And so I'm a multi-general artist, so yeah. I just want to have fun till certain sticks. So I if you made an album now, it would be a multi-genre album? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So it would be, yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, but yeah. I would have rapping on there. I would rap. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. I could rap, but I would it it wouldn't just be like okay it's just a rap art and this is the time for it as well isn't it multi-genre and, and the vibes definitely I'm, also, I'm disappointed if I don't get multi-genre album now yeah like, definitely <laughs> I want to hear you sing I want to hear you angry I want to hear you all the regret. emotions <laughs> wanna, yeah all the emotions all the emotions man yeah. I think but I love songwriting songwriting and co-producing I love yeah, that, man. That no, Bashman that. song we just played was banging, still. Blessings, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. And there's another record you you um you sent me called Trap Gods. Tell us about this, cause this is this like a producer's record featuring you. This got like two hundred thousand hits or something on yeah, SoundCloud. Yeah, man. Some producer on this trap thing, you know, like not trap like EDM trap. EDM, EDM trap. trap. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Hit me up and said, "Yo, I rate you as a UK rapper, man. Do you want to flow on something?" And I said, "You know what." Let's just have it. So he paid me a little bit of dough. Yeah. And then I just flipped on it and it just started to become kind of good. And yeah, I'm yeah. doing some others right now from that same one. I put it in my set. Like I tour still, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tour in Finland and uh, uh, a lot of Scandinavia. Yeah. Because that's my, my booking agent's there. So oh, I nice, tour, nice. Yeah, he puts me on a couple of festivals. And now, obviously, I'm working with Congo and a little jungle stuff and things yeah. like that. So I'm getting back in the touring thing as, as well. And then I, I might be doing a show May the 13th with me and Skinny. It's still yeah. in the thing. Well, that's what I was going to get to. Yeah. Cause, um, yeah, yeah. When we connected on Instagram, you was talking about possibly putting together some kind of show or tour of those four, four 2004 albums yeah man I'm definitely into that just little things need to be worked out but it's probably going to be first it's not going to be everybody's just yeah. going to be probably me and Skinny it's yeah, going to yeah. probably be at a, a Ramsgate Music Hall in Ramsgate okay sick. Um, it's an enemy venue okay it's, sick. It's, it's by the enemy it holds about 300 yeah. just to show so, th- yeah 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 and learn you know like I might do it with a live band and yeah, do yeah, yeah. my album in its full context because yeah, I yeah, think yeah. This is why people say, wow, how can you be so, you're out of the game, that, I think. That would be an amazing show to have just yeah. an, an intimate event that's like it. that. But well, I feel like it. you could do it, Let's I feel like you could do it way bigger. That's what you start little and yeah, sell yeah, it out. Because yeah, yeah. I wanted to do Roundhouse. Yeah. But yeah. my cousin, he-, he What's the capacity of Roundhouse, you know? About 3,000. 3,000. But my yeah, cousin yeah. said, just yeah, yeah. do it. You could like, do it though, I believe. I think, I think, yeah, I think you yeah. could do Roundhouse. You could definitely do Roundhouse, but I see why. Yeah, but it'd be nice yeah, on the 300. Nah, I'm gonna make sure I'm demand. there. I'm yeah. gonna into yeah, yeah. three of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got plus three on the guest list. We got 200, now, 297 spaces yeah, left. <laughs> Remember, man said that though. Yeah. We gotta organize it together. Yeah. Remember, man yeah, said definitely, definitely. We gotta organize it together. Yeah, no, I'll help. I'm definitely, sure. definitely, definitely, definitely on board to help with that. Live, one. like showing that you're good live. That's one thing I can say. Like, Hanging with Dizzy all that time, all the yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. We done. I done Carlin Academy and everything. Yeah. And people wonder why he was such a big artist. He yeah. was a bad boy live. Dizzy, yeah, bad yeah, boy yeah, live. Yeah. I saw Dizzy live, a support act for Jay Z at um at Wembley. I think when like I love you had just come out. Even then, it was banging. Yeah, I don't know. Like this is a mad story. I'm to tell just in the middle of this, but I was just outside um, Wembley. I didn't have a ticket or nothing. I had a dog with me. Like just a bunch of us and these like 14 year old youths just came and ripped the door open. You know, like them big red doors. Yeah, yeah. So we just ran in there. I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, cool. I ran in. I'm like, yeah, Dizzy Rascal was just on stage already. And I sat down, put the dog under my chair. Anyway, mad story. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that a couple times as well. <laughs> and when I walked out calm with the dog on the lead past the security, like they're baffled. Like, what? <laughs> Listen, I've done that even on getting in the industry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This waste man thing at the right, door. Shout out <laughs> Mongo as well. I know if he's still locked on. Yeah, Mongo yeah. was with me that day. Mad thing. I've done that being an artist in the industry. Yeah, you have and to like, do sometimes. I haven't got a ticket and the man them just bust the door and I just go, sure. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. happened. So yeah, it's just a real, I think, yeah, live. They're learning that from him. And learning a lot of stuff of how I've seen the years, I think that will bring me back in my category because I've realised about touring and I think that's what's missing from UK right now. See, yeah. people see that I haven't been in the game as an artist for a long time and but they don't know that I've been in my head. It's like a calculator. So yeah. I study things that are missing yeah, yeah, and yeah. I know that with all the hype and all the champagne and all the boasting, yeah, 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 live, yeah. 
ah, it's a whack sometimes. Well, it's a different yeah. game now, isn't it? Because now we, we used to do live and like even from the days of rock bands, whatever, like there. you you go and you, you, you tour live, you go and get little gigs here and there and you mm. do your show and you get your music out there. Now you get your music out there on the internet first. You get a buzz and then you go and try and do a live show. So half these kids have got, so, man, I they got a hit record. They got a hit record and <laughs> they've never true. really done a stage show. That's true. It's mad. Certain man's first single launch and they they've emptied out the club of a song yeah. that the whole club's come to hear because yeah. they're so trash. It's so true. It's, like, yeah. it's true. Live but is it, important. It's your and it's livelihood. One of, and it, yeah, it's the livelihood. I was gonna ask the question as well. Like, do you think music is really even a viable career sometimes for young people in this day and age? I guess you're you're, you're talking about the avenues where you can make money from it now. But it's not the same as before. Like sales aren't the same. They get into it on a mad one. Like yeah. I, when I look at my nephews and what, what do you want, fame or like yeah. I wanted like to change my life and it did change my life. Even though I wasted a lot of the money yeah. and had I've had really good times. Yeah. So some people sit there and they try and what do they try and do? Feel like not feel sorry for me, but talk my life and say I said, blood. Anything I've done with my money, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Don't worry about. I've done all my dreams in my teens. I smashed my dreams. Yeah, 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 all yeah, my, yeah. I toured all the places with Dizzy Rascal. I've done every single Carlin Academy. I've been yeah. to every city. I've been to every. You know what I'm saying? I've done like most of my. The only thing I know, now need is a helicopter and a mansion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And four million in the bank. I've done everything. I've, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, I've pissed. I've got yeah. hundreds of night trainers. I've dashed night trainers. I've given family Adidas. I've done everything. Only the Adidas, not the Nike, though. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Man kept the Nike, gave the family Adidas. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, I'm gonna live my dream just like him. Nah, that's the, I like that. <laughs> I drank champagne. I pissed it out. Yeah. I went Selfridges, spent money, yeah, yeah. bought Polo, bought Ralph Lauren, spent three grand, took cabs to girls to link girls in Birmingham. When I, I've done everything. <laughs> I've done everything. <laughs> I've done everything. Big so up I, the girls in Brum. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, young man, live your life. Don't watch me. I just need the settlement now where I just can't <laughs> yeah. get it back. So the helicopter and the four mil is still, and it's still the, the goal. And, and the, the mansion. Goal. Don't forget yeah. the mansion. When, yeah, when, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. when the hundred records are finished, maybe we can, yeah. you know so what I'm saying? When you say a hundred yeah. records, you mean like a hundred records written? Placed. Placed, yeah. being released. Is it a helicopter for linking girls in Scotland? <laughs> 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 I'm an old guy now. I don't <laughs> We're finished with that. That was a some dream. That was Buff Daddy last time. <laughs> but you wanted to do it. It wasn't even Addison Lee them terms on that. See, well, every, every real person's got to do it. Like you wanted to, not real person, but I'm saying you wanted to do it. If you had that in your mind, you wanted to do it. So when I got my deal and I got more like production things, I started to spend the money. I went, yeah. I said, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go Shelfridges do a madness, I'm taking a girl with me, buying her two grand boots, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pop Cristal. Yeah. And I've done it. Yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah. to do it. I just <laughs> I drank it. I just, spit it out and shit. And like, but I enjoyed life. No, it? bro, because rappers been talking about it in yeah, your ear yeah, yeah, yeah. since you was young. That's Cristal. That's like, that's yeah, yeah, for real, for real. You done it. I've done it. So it's just, it, it's, it's settlement money. But what ta- the youngsters, you got to know there's different avenues. Like, it was like, I didn't even know about, um, you know, sync. Yep. I've been on about seven syncs in my career, like Step Brothers. I done trials and fusion mm. for a game. As those sync money are crazy yeah, 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 right yeah. now. Step Brothers the movie, yeah. Yeah, 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 I, was <laughs> yeah we, uh, we, I got a Dizzy Rascal bro, title in there. And, and just okay. Learning things about that. I, I, you know, some people are doing a post office advert and getting four hundred yeah, grand. Course. You just there's a back. lot of there's, there's a lot of angles in it. There's a lot of angles where some people are trying to be that guy. Yeah, getting me four hundred grand for the post office. Four hundred grand yeah. for a post office, yeah. and some people can't even do that. In in now terms, you will, you have to do a lifetime in music to get that. Yeah, yeah, of course. To, you know what I'm saying? No, so, I'm old man from yeah. Kenneth and uh, Rob post office is back yeah, in the day. They never, they never got that. Definitely. So yeah, it's, yeah. there's a lot of things I, I learned, and I think the seven years or eight years, yeah, that I sit back, not coming in the mainstream UK yeah. music. Like I've just learned those things, and I've taken on my poorness. I've taken on my richness. I've been yeah. poor between those areas. I've been rich. I've had times really hard. Tuna, yeah. welcome. If you want to do this thing, not all the time, unless you got shot of money from the street and you're putting yeah. money. But sometimes it's gonna be a struggle. It's hard, yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. But you just have to take them with the and brush the shoulders off with the good and the bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's important not to just show you know teach young people about all these different avenues about syncing we had um greg blackman come on and we did a whole show about like 
having a career in music. Yeah. Where it's not necessarily about yeah, all the champagne and all of no, that. You no, 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 no. You you might just you know what I'm saying you could hold a steady career doing shows. Uh, doing shows abroad, doing like my, there's many different angles. There's you know many I mean? different angles, man. I, 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 but also a deal is a mad thing because sometimes it's not a deal, but being in the music and getting like bits of money because obviously we have money challenges in it. So we, sometimes you need somebody to hold your money for you because I know that it's given me ever since then money problems because yeah. I don't feel I have money till I have two grand. Yeah, that's normal, not normal money to me, but it's just like. You know what I'm saying? For up there, yeah, like yeah. if you a label it's give raised me, your standards yeah, why are you giving me 500 for? You know, that's nothing. Because yeah. we're used to kind of, all right, yeah, let's start from the twos. And it kind of messes your mind up because you yeah. think, oh man, that's just, it's not the right money. But, you know, as time goes on, man's building up certain things. Man's got kids and learning some yeah, things. Yeah, There's yeah. things you have to learn. It's a, it's a mad game. I've seen it as well. And I've seen so much turn. You know, there was an era when I saw Dappy, all these guys... Yeah. Tinchy, everybody come up and then the error kind of changed and then the labels didn't I've seen so much errors yeah the I labels see, yeah. jumped on and off keep it pyro oh they're probably calling a lot of phones and getting a lot of like doubt, uh, like busy tones that's what I'm yeah, saying for sure <laughs> you know I've also mean? seen artists say to me yeah man watch when my time is because I said the same thing to when I was coming out when this I said I'm going to sell more than everybody Yeah, but I understand the politics of the game and I understand how things work and then I've yeah. seen the same artists just go boy this game's hard man Taz yeah. bro you didn't tell me I told you brother like, yeah. it's a madness <laughs> out here you think it's just easy yeah. there's a lot of politics going on but as we say it's the right time for changing and you know what as well I think when a lot of other countries show love to UK artists, especially that ain't getting love here, yeah. and when the other countries show the love, then UK comes on board, then yeah. people go, rah, let's celebrate him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? On a so, follow fashion. On a follow fashion yeah. thing. Which, it's, which, who cares? It's, it's, useful, happening. it's helping us. Yeah. It's yeah. helping us, man. As long as I say the fame, as long as the paycheck's good and the PPA on the PRS is saying good, I'm not bothered, man, and I can spit a bar and enjoy yeah, 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 what I yeah. do. And you can get all of that right in, in these writing camps in the, and right in all in these, these hundred camps. records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I see the vision, man. I see the I'm vision. It. And a publishing deal. I might, you know, take... Uh, we've been talking to some new publishers and I might, you know, even go for it and take... I've never had a publishing deal. You never had a publishing deal? No, and you came in writing. Because <laughs> <laughs> I kept all of it. Like, yeah. and I just go direct to PRS. PRS, yeah, yeah, yeah cool. But um, now I'm just thinking, rah, because I want to write... For yeah, all man. The artists well, sometimes they put up money more than labels. That's you know what I'm saying? trying to say, and yeah, then yeah. have fun with my records. I can. Mm -hmm. It gives you, allows you to have fun because that, that's how you you can earn a, a main income stream, and you don't have to be in yeah. the pressure. And then when I get in the longo of the pressure, yeah, then yeah, I yeah. just clap. You all know, right, my song. So all the phases you've seen, do you think this phase is different from the last ones? Yeah, man. It's good times. You think yeah. it's, much, it's it's gonna it's gonna maintain and keep it's going? Good, yeah, yeah. Skepta, Stormzy. All those kind of people have changed it, man. They've changed the game. They've ch and they're bringing in people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's they're what they're hiring their friends as well. They're hiring their friends. About. It's all about, you know, bringing in people and many UK people eat because if people ain't eating, it affects all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you should say, hey, do you, do you want some food or everybody? But yeah. you know what I'm saying? When you share the love and share what's going on, it affects and UK comes as a team and they go to these countries and it looks big. Yeah, and you yeah. know, every, like a lot of people from other islands are coming to the uk drake and yeah. looking at you know uk artists but uk artists know that well i kind of know that they were fans before yeah yeah they were yeah. watching yeah. way before especially yeah. the artists over there. <laughs> they yeah. were yeah, yeah they were yeah, watching yeah, yeah. way before about. sean paul always yeah, yeah. tells me about dizzy rascal and stuff yeah yeah he yeah, used yeah. To tell yeah they've been following dizzy but especially in uh, in canada, so canada. I think in canada they watch and you work with um Cardinal, 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 Cardinal official Cardinal. as well, yeah. yeah. That's a record yeah, yeah, I was yeah. trying to get on before. Was, yeah, but yeah, he, the Cardinal. Um, he was on like Acons and Def Jam. Isn't yeah, yeah, I yeah. rate Cardinal. That's my favorite rapper from Canada, and that's yeah. not being biased. But I just, yeah. I just rate. Was he on Def Jam at the time when you when you did that record? Nah, he was on uh, Columbia. Okay. okay. In, so in, how, what in made Canada. that come about? Yo, just the Jamaican vibe. Okay, yeah, Jamaican course, vibe. Yeah, yeah. Simtex put it together, but then we found out we knew mutual people in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah, just yeah, the yeah. vibes, man. Got record, man. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah, man. Well, I guess I guess you said we don't, um, we shouldn't have the category, and someone's gonna win a Brit. You said, you said definitely. Yeah, but someone's gonna win a Brit. Listen, we have like Stormzy, We're, Skepta, all the artists, dope. Yeah. But the the guy to come. 
Yeah. There's a guy coming. The guy coming and he's going to shut he's it all gonna down. He's going to be mad. And clean it up. No, you I believe it. I believe it. Be mad. it might, I don't know who It might be Dave. It might be it Dave. Might be Dave. Yeah, it might be Dave. It might be that guy who's doing all the Kit Kat thing. Have you seen this little guy on the nah. on, on, on See, I'm with the Utes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Show oh, me. the chocolate bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah he's, he's bad. He's bad. He's bad. Like, like, okay. He goes, he goes, I'm about AJ and Dino. I work, uh, I'm around them lot a little bit as well. Yeah, AJ okay. and Dino. I'm about new talent as well. Yeah, you know? yes. Don't Working get, with young people. Yeah, and yeah getting them. Because I like the writing and the royalties. And <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I feel you, bro. I might go in the same direction real soon. <laughs> like, you've been around talent from his beginning, like with that's Dizzy's, what I'm saying. Like, Dizzy's and Wiley's, and but I think more of us should have the jobs in the labels. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. I think like some people that are in the label, they don't know what they're doing, and yeah. see where I'm coming from. An era when the label would get more. People in the label would have more fame than the artists. Yeah, I'm coming from a serious era when I used yeah, to see. Yeah. I used to get into clubs out of because I knew G's and I knew different people. Yeah, I was wet party in West End from a young age, so you was never gonna stop me getting in a club. It wasn't yeah, about yeah. being an artist. Mm -hmm. But when my era was around, I saw artists outside, and the labels would go in. All right, <laughs> all right. Whoever the artist yeah, yeah, is, I've yeah. seen artists outside, yeah. and I've seen uh, you know label le the label guys get new trainers. You're like my new Adidas, they just sent them to me, and I'm thinking, what's happened to your artists? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah we <laughs> forgot about talent. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, yeah. talking. It's a these... serious thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's happened to the UK? As uh, some of it, uh, uh, a section of it is the talent. They forgot the talent, and so all these people in the label, they're going on like the artists. Like when you see them, they all yeah. <laughs> They've they got more fame than the artists, yeah, so the yeah. artist is just there in a corner with his head down, and you can't even believe. Yeah, yeah. So that was an error of that, you know what I'm saying? So we forgot the talent a little and, bit, but and now the, and the they back through. Don't know what they're on about. You so. see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, man. getting back to that now, and this talent's gonna hit through the thing. So it's a good time. Yeah, man, it's good times. Well, big up for coming through, man. Some real, real good knowledge right there. What what's what's directly coming next? What are you working on right now? What what should we look for? Ah, uh, a jungle tune called Murder. I got a jungle tune called Murder. Yeah. I'm, I don't know what label I'm gonna put it on, but I'm gonna just put various things out. Yeah, it's yeah. just gonna like and and this this is getting like a lot of love from you know Capital Independent. Yeah, as well. Like, it's um Trap Gods record. Tr not the Trap Gods. Oh, the, um, um, up, up, there. up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's already blown out. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Jamaica and in then, then we're getting ready for Japan now. Khan Bread. We got Khan Bread in Japan. Uh, six, 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 six. Yeah, I'm saying he's getting ready to um kind of endorse the thing and blah, blah, blah. we're just trying different territories as well. I want to play with some territories. See how they feel about my talent. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like get that. Out there, man. Yeah, man. I love that. Well, big up for coming. We're gonna get into this Trap Gods record. When I spit, um, we want to get into some bars. I want to get into this record then. Right, on then. the other side. Cool. Yeah, we'll get into some bars. All right, Shoot. it's Pyro Radio, Flip Life Radio. Keep it Pyro. We only got a little piece of time left, so I guess we're gonna try and. Uh, we usually do the end of the show just to try and wrap up this kind of debate. We can, we can, you can stay and be involved in it. It don't really matter. Um, should, should. Should the Brits have a category for rappers? I think we're deciding no. No. No! I'm going to on this one. Yeah, yeah we're, most we're people, all with Taz. I think most people have said no. Yeah. I, I, I think I would have fully said yes if I hadn't heard all the arguments. Like first, the Storm, Stormzy's argument that he put forward that they should be, that the grandma should be next to Ed Sheeran and next to Adele and put with them equally. Um, also, it's because we we don't really watch these awards too tough to know if there's categories for yeah. genres. So once I find that there's no categories for no one else, we don't need no special treatment. We just yeah. need fair treatment. Isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. another thing Aaron Page was pushing, I, we probably mentioned this, but he was just saying the rated awards by Graham Daly are just way more important. And like they're, they're only like celebrating, they're not televised right now. But that's what he was saying. He thinks in five years time, that rated awards is going to be televised and be something really important and something like massive. I, I think so too. Yeah, no, I think so too as well. Just like the mobiles, when it first come around, it didn't even compete with the Brits, but I'm sure there's certain years it's got more ratings on TV, for sure. So the other question, I suppose, what what was the other question? We were saying, um, did was the, was the Brits diverse enough this year? Are they there yet? How far do we have to go? I, I ain't going to lie, I didn't watch it. No, I actually didn't watch it either. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> but but I know I, I, I saw I saw the 
urban highlights. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's on my timeline. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't need to watch it to see that. This is what I mean. I feel like the things that we know from there are pick and chosen. So it'll be like rebellious acts or mistakes or whatever. So when you're saying you think the rated award is going to end up televised like that, I'm not sure because I'm not sure if we all consume like that. Like, yeah, I suppose we, television like, isn't as, isn't as important. Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. None of us went and sat down to watch that. Like, I mean, fair enough, I might for the rated awards, but that's not really how we like intake things about music anymore. We're just online. We want to like pick and choose when we see it. Like, no, that's true. I don't know if it will. I Definitely. don't know if I agree. That's true. All right, then I think it's another time we've actually managed to wrap up our debate where a lot of the time it stays out in the air and we're not really sure what the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> like we've just been chatting yeah. for hours and comes to no conclusion. We'll be back in another two weeks. It's the first and third Friday of every month. Pyroradio.com, 9 to 11 p.m. The Flip Life Radio Show. I think it's only what right we get into one more from the Stormzy album before we get out of here. Um, I would be saying make sure you buy this so it goes to number one but it's at number one make sure you buy it so it's number one next week you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah, and platinum yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, for real like, let's make sure that young man like, is rich and popping off of his music right now because he really deserves it's it it's a sick album and, and like, it is a sick it's, sick album like, it's, it's cheap like what we were talking what Taz was talking about um having an al- a, a album with different genres and it kind of is that album like it's got different sounds singing gospel music rap r and I'm looking grand. forward to so many albums right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's what? See Jay Haas and Mo Stack and See all these there. guys. I'm looking forward to a lot of albums coming mm-hmm. out real soon. Right? Yeah. What was you saying, Jazz? Oh, I just said there's maybe a little bit gospel for me. A bit gospel The religious overtones are a bit Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as bad yeah. as Chance the Rapper, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's dope anyway. Make sure you all go cop that. It's pyroradio.com, flip left radio, Big and up we Taz. will be back. Keep, keep, keep it pyro.